Now to day three of the hearing for the three men accused of plotting to kidnap Governor Whitmer. For the first time, we're hearing from the FBI informant who was inside the group, and he went into great detail about uh, what happened and when. Let's go to Grant Herms. Live tonight, a lot of things we had not heard before today. Grant. Well, this was, like you said, the first time we've had a detailed look from the inside of that alleged plot to kidnap and kill the governor from the planning to the military training to even what they were saying about the governor and now expanding what we're learning to other Michigan officials. For the first time in court, the FBI's man inside taking the stand, known only as Dan, the court not allowing video of him to be shared for his safety and the safety of his family. Dan gave detailed accounts of the planning of the alleged plot to kidnap and kill the governor and other politicians, telling the court one of the men working with the group wanted to tie up the governor and put her on display. He wanted to uh, hog tire on a table and kind of like a DEA presentation. Dan said the group spent hours staking out the governor's vacation home and worked with groups in Ohio and Wisconsin to help with their plot. So we eventually funneled down that Michigan would be the, the capital of Michigan would be the, the target. So the train that was going that started conducting on into Sunday was pertaining to Michigan. That target meant to kick off Boogaloo, a reference to a second civil war. Those who follow those beliefs wearing Hawaiian shirts to signal their support. There was also discussion of installing militia members as the new government. One of the men, a supposed leader of the Wolverine Watchmen, claiming he would be targeting the state's attorney general and lieutenant governor. He was talking about the lieutenant governor and Dana Nessel and stating that he had a Hawaiian shirt on his in his vehicle that he was in Lansing, had his stuff with him, and that he would go and he would throw this Hawaiian shirt on and go on the Capitol right there. Another big piece from that testimony today, the pictures and the stakeout around the governor's vacation home. The informant testifying that they used those photos to plan an armed raid to allegedly kill the governor's security detail, likely her husband. And when it came to her children, they said that that would have been a call they would have made during that supposed armed raid. Back to you. It's extraordinary stuff, Grant. What is the defense saying about it? Well, they essentially said today what they were saying yesterday, yeah. that the members of this militia group wouldn't have been involved in any of this. The training that they said was led by this informant or the connection to those other groups from Wisconsin and Ohio had it not been for the FBI stepping in. All right, Grant.